Several people living in a northeast side neighborhood are raising concerns this evening about an accident heavy intersection. Yeah, two wrecks happened back to back at the exact same spot last weekend. Fox 59's Michael Van Scoyk gives us a look at some of the damage left behind and explains what people living in this area want to see changed. Drive up to the three way stop at East 62nd and Knighton Road. You'll quickly see the mangled guardrails and odds and ends from a series of crashes. The accidents uh, that have been the worst are happening at such high speeds you hear it when it happens. Michael Abel says he's seen at least 10 crashes over the last three years. Drivers blow through the intersection, not realizing his driveway isn't a part of 62nd Street. And they go through and end up on these boulders, which as you can see, have been displaced by the most recent accident. Michael Abel says cars have even come up his driveway. Here's a permanent mark from one of those crashes, which ultimately ended in his neighbor's yard. They put up these boulders as an extra layer of safety after that crash. By the time I got out, <clears throat> Uh, fire was starting from from the engine section and I, I ended up smashing out a window to pull two people out. Abel says he couldn't get to the driver who later died. It's not always this violent, but neighbors say speeding and blowing through stop signs are daily occurrences at the intersection. This is a neighborhood. There are people that live here. There are kids that are here, families, people out walking. This is a neighborhood. Slow down. It's not a cut through. That's why they're hoping the city will make some changes like flashing lights, additional signs or even speed bumps. Just anything to try and provide a lot more visual stimulation to drivers late at night to know that this is a stop. From the northeast side, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. We learned Indy's Department of Public Works has added signage in the area over the last few years, and the agency did encourage neighbors to start a street change petition, and that was to change and get some requests made for those additional fixes, which is something any neighborhood can actually do. Now, that petition must be signed by 75% of affected property owners to initiate a traffic study, and then the department will determine if the requested change is warranted.